I do this and I'm sure a lot of people do this, but you get these like open loops, right? I have an open loop over here where the the tags on the truck are getting ready to expire, right? I got an open loop over here where I've got to call the, the electrician back and let them know all the things that the inspector said were wrong. I got an open loop over here for this. I got an open loop over there for that, right? The only way those loops are going to close is if I pick up the phone or take some kind of action on them, right? right. Block off half of a day and just go to the DMV and sit there, right? And drink bad coffee. Um, call the electrician. Just pick it just right now. Just like, you know, I'm thinking about it. Let's just do it. And it's a four minute phone phone call. And it's the, the loop is closed. And that stress, that little piece of stress kind of goes away. And you can kind of think about this to, as your insureds. The, their claim is an open loop. It's a huge open loop. It's a painful one. And it's got a lot of like mm -hmm. spikes on it, right? That they, they don't, and they don't know. There's a lot of uncertainty there with that, which, which elevates their, their stress and anxiety about the whole situation. And I talk about this and I train this, the joy and terror spectrum, right? So you've got complete and like total joy, you know, you're, you just, holding your grandkid for the first time, or you just got your driver's license or, you know, first kiss. It's like nothing else matters. You're in the, you're in the moment, pure joy. And then over here, you're being chased by a bear and you can feel the bear's breath on your ear and you're like pure reptilian, like f you're in full flight mode, right? You're just, there's, everything's shut down. In the middle is this little flat place between those two, those two extremes of like, you know, human emotion or whatever. The little flat place is like, you're not like ecstatic about anything, but there's no stress, right? So you're just, it's, and it's a nice place to be, right? It's, it's a good place to be when all your finances are in order, but nothing else is really going on. You're just doing day to day, that little flat spot. Most people are kind of inched over. This is where the stress and anxiety go up over onto the terror side, the fear side, right? And as soon as they get a claim, they're even more bumped over there. If you come into the, the equation with the homeowner or the property owner and you, you, don't shake their hand. You don't make eye contact. You're not friendly. You just treat them like a number. They feel like when you show up that they're that you've already decided what their claims outcome is going to be, right? And it's going to be a denial. You're, you're pushing them farther and farther over into the, the the stress zone, and that's when people do things like pick up the phone and call your manager and complain, right? Or or drop the carrier, or, you know, and switch to somebody else, or whatever. Which is the last thing that anybody wants. If you go into that situation and you, even if it's just a water spot on the ceiling, I say this again, broken record on this, treat that claim like it's a total loss, right? Because the stress levels, you know, you're going to find like people with total losses, they may still be kind of in this zone because it's like, well, the whole thing's gone. I mean, well, I guess what do we even do? Like they just, you know, right. But right. the water spot on the ceiling represents potential that there's a roof leak, they don't know, well, maybe the adjuster's not gonna see that there's, you know, how how did that water get in? Do I need a new roof? Am I gonna have to fight with the insurance company over this? Am I gonna have to, right? If you come in and you treat, you know, you investigate that claim fully and you reassure them and you make eye contact and you, you explain the process to them while you're at the house, please, you, and you answer their phone calls or you call them back, you know, within a few hours, um, or have an expectation, right, that you're going to call them back and you do, you follow through on everything, then you're going to inch, you know, not, probably I can get them over the other side, right, to the joy side, but you're going to get them a little bit closer to the middle, which is what you want to do. And and in people that can do that, and it's not, again, it's, this is absolutely not rocket science. It's, and you can, you can have like this exact same spiel, you say to insured one, that you say to insure 10,000, right? The exact same thing when you walk up to the house, you know, when you shake somebody's hand, you make the exact same joke about the weather, you know, well, you know, if you don't like the weather, just look out the other window, you know, whatever, right? right? You can, you don't have to like be like a stand up comedian or, you know, have like be like a, a, an eloquent speech writer, and, but you, and you make it like doing TED, you know, TED presentations at every single house and it's a different totally different topic each time and just do the same thing over and over again and it, it with those reps you get better and better at it right and you 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 can start to see instead of being feeling about like how you how anxious you feel as the adjuster like you're where you're brand new and you're walking to this person's house that goes away because you know what you're going to say 
And as, as you do a bunch of reps of these and you, and you have a couple of two or three storms under your belt, then you know what they're going to say. And you can, you can anticipate how the conversation is going to go a lot better. And it makes for much better customer service. Um, it's a little bit of reps, right? Your, your very first homeowners are going to be maybe, you know, they're going to get the rough you, the brand new yep. you, the greenhorn, whatever. But, you know, a year in, you know, your second season, it's, you know, you're able to watch people's body language while giving them the spiel and be like, well, he didn't totally, he's, he disagrees with yeah. that. Let's, let's, let's take a break. Let's pause here and like work through that obstacle real quick. Right. And well, you know, listen, if you, if we don't find all the damage, I mean, it's not, there could be hidden damage that your only your contractor can find once he starts the job, just call me back and you know, we'll, we'll get it addressed. Right. Oh, okay. You know, the body language loosens up and then you move on to continue on through your spiel. Do that stuff, have a framework for how you talk to people, right? You need to develop that. And we have training for it, obviously. Have a framework for how you manage your time, right? And, you know, have a little system, the James Mathis method, where you're just like, yeah, I'm going to pick up the phone and I'm going to start calling whoever, right? People that I met at conferences, I'm going to have to keep a stack of cards. I'm going to take keep always keep a pen with you, write notes on the card. This person has these needs, whatever, right? Because you're going to, when you talk to people at the conferences, you know, a big part of sales is asking questions instead of like, you know, just spouting off about yourself. It's what do you guys need? You know, what can I do to be, to be a, a solution for you guys when you're at NACA? And that, that goes a long way because then you can be like, okay, well, they really want me to have a level two certification. They really want me to have a New Mexico license, so on and so forth. And go get those things. Right. And then call that person back and say, Hey, yeah, I met you at NACA. And I just wanted to touch base with you and let you know, you know, I'd ask you, you know, what you guys need. And you said, you know, you were really hurting for people in New Mexico. I just got my New Mexico license and I got a level two, you know, this, and I'd be, I, I, you know, I can go, I'll get my bag by the door. What do you think? And, hey, well, you know, we're, you know, that's, you know, thank you so much for calling, letting us know that, you know, uh, I'll have you, you know, go ahead, call the toll-free number and update HR with that. Uh, you know, we actually got that staffed, that thing I was telling you about, right? Or, yeah, or no, we don't, but do you have a Minnesota license? So what does it actually look like when adjusters with decades of experience between them scope a hail-damaged house on video? What about how to actually do a claim in Xactimate? What is civility and how do you even get started in it? What if there was one place, one huge and expanding library of property claims suggesting videos showing how it's done? What if there were also complete Xactimate certifications as well as the latest and most up-to-date Xactimate mobile training? You know, what if? What if the dream was a reality? Get started for free binging all the desk and field claims adjusting videos you can stand right now at adjustertvplus.com. Think of it as a virtual ride-along. Speaking of ride-alongs, click here to get right along to the next video. Because it's a, well, do you see how it's, it's a pun, you see? Ride-along, get it right, just move right-along versus ride-along, it's right-along, get right-along to it.